Season is here, and in Muskegon County, so is the vaccine. Starting today, the Muskegon County Health Department is administering the seasonal flu vaccine in either shot or nasal mist form. The shot costs $27. The mist is $35. The vaccines are available from noon until 4.30 in the afternoon each weekday. Children, the elderly, those uh, living with high-risk populations, all encouraged to get vaccinated. The H1N1 flu vaccine is expected to be available a little later this fall. Brian in the newsroom right now to talk more about this from seasonal flu to swine flu. Now, a lot of questions out there regarding when the H1N1 vaccine will actually be ready. Now, some people wondering if they should get that vaccine at all. And joining me now to talk more about this, Bridie Kent from the Kent County Health Department. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me. A lot me. of questions out there mm -hmm. sort of swirling around having to do with H1N1 and the vaccine. Yeah. Um, getting a few phone calls, I would imagine. Yeah, we are. Phones are off the hook. Very, very busy. Um, tell us about that. When will the vaccine be available? We're expecting the vaccine to be available in Kent County somewhere around mid-October um, and then we'll be getting more shipments in late October. Eventually we expect to have enough vaccine for everybody who wants the vaccination but initially um, there will probably be more demand than supply so we have a few priority groups set forth for receiving that vaccine when it first arrives. Eventually the goal is to vaccinate anybody who wants the vaccine. Okay so we're, we're on sort of an incremental basis basis at this point when it does come That's in based correct. on need. Okay, back mm -hmm. to those phone calls. Let's talk about some of the concerns that people are having about this when they call. Um, what, what's the main concern that people, they're concerned about whether or not they may get hurt from this vaccine? Yep. Tell me about that. You know, there's a couple different concerns we've seen. We get a lot of forwarded emails from friends or people who know, um, who understand vaccinations mm -hmm. saying, you know, look what I got from a family member. And it talks about, you know, we've seen the resurgence of worries about vaccines and autism. Mm -hmm. um, we've seen concerns about, oh, this hasn't been tested well enough. They haven't had enough time to test it. And I think what people aren't understanding here is that this this um, recipe for for vaccine is basically the same as the seasonal flu vaccine recipe. The only difference is the strain of flu it vaccinates against, and that's the H1N1, the novel H1N1 or swine flu, mm -hmm. as we call it. But the seasonal flu vaccine is something that has proven very effective. There have been hundreds of millions of doses administered over the years, and it has a very strong safety record. This H1N1 vaccine is basically manufactured using the same manufacturers and the same processes, and so we expect it to be reasonably about the same safety as the seasonal flu vaccine. What would be some of the safety concerns, side effects of getting this vaccine? That's a great question. And you know, with any vaccine, there are always risks. But the, the prevalent side effects are going to be things like a rash at the injection site or a mild low-grade fever immediately after. And so those are the big concerns. Um, there have been concerns, you know, back in 1976, there was a swine flu scare, never really amounted to much and um, there were 43 million people vaccinated. Of those, 500 later came down with Guillain-Barre syndrome, but you really need to look at um, how many people reasonably would have been expected to come down with that anyway. And there's never been any real positive correlation between the syndrome and the vaccine. You know, every day people are having heart attacks, every day people are coming down with different ailments, but um, we really have to look at, you know, other underlying causes. Um, it's probably not going to be the vaccine. And the thing is, the, the flu each year kills, the seasonal flu kills 36,000 people. And you have to kind of weigh the risks. Is it safer to get the, get the flu or have one of these side effects? Generally, side effects, as I mentioned, are mild, low-grade fever or a rash. And um, we think it's worth it to get the vaccine. Bridie Kent from the Kent County Health Department, thank you for your insight. We appreciate thank you. that.